What's up everyone? NWA Prepper here. I am tired. Ooh man, I'm tired. It has been a very busy weekend. Mine are mine. It's currently busy. Man, busy, busy weekend. So and there's a point to it. So started out that uh uh, Friday evening I spent with my family and, uh, and there's a car wreck in f behind in front of me behind you and uh, so I'm keeping my eye on it just I guess being nosy nobody's injured so they don't need me to jump out and help anyway so Friday evening I spent with my family and it was wonderful getting ready for my kids to have activities one with their grandparent, one with their mom in sports. And uh, and I had a mag group meeting. It was, it was wonderful. It was a blessing. And uh, and then I went from there, which it's a, we met about an hour from the house, hour and 20 minutes. We went, and I went from there having a wonderful potluck and, and a wonderful discussion and planning the next event and and so I went from there to driving for four hours <laughs> three and a half but it was raining and I drive pretty slow so it took me about four hours to get to the beautiful Buffalo River Valley if you haven't been to the Buffalo National River you're messing out it's, it's beautiful. So I get down there. And, uh, and I'm going down there because uh, one of my lifelong friends, youngest son, is, is earning an award or recognition. And then one of my great friends, one of my top friends, is getting an honor that is pretty, pretty special. And so I go for that. And I get there, and I'm trying to surprise everyone. And I'm very blessed that that when people see me, they they all want to talk to me, and they want to, you know, they have questions for me, and they want to tell me how things are going. And it's it's a wonderful family. It's a big extended family. It's a scouting event. But in that scouting event, not only do I get to be there for accomplishments of people I care about. But I got to, I got to do a night crossing in the river. I got to go and I got to build a fire in the dark. And it had been raining and raining and raining and raining. And I had my friend getting an award and a young man that absolutely is, is going to change the world. And, and we built this fire and I was confident about it and I felt good. And, uh, uh, so I got to build a fire. We went on a night hike up a, oh my gosh, it, it probably 250 feet change in elevation. It was rough. It kicked my butt, you know. And I, I, I barely had level one gear on, you know, my EDC. And uh, so we get up there and we go to that and it's a beautiful over overlook and it's been raining so the waterfall is wonderful and beautiful and it sounds great. And we spend time there and then we hike back down to the river and and my buddy goes and that's when we built the fire and my buddy wanted to camp over there and I had obligations on the other side of the river early in the morning. So I go to do the night crossing again in a, in a boat and on shore, like on the other shore, I'm home free. Boosh! I fall in the river. Well, and it's been raining. So the bank of the river is about like this and it's slicker than snot. I mean, oh my gosh. So I'm having to dig my elbows and claw my way with my knees and climb out of the river. It wasn't, it wasn't cold. It was, it was just... I don't know. 
I don't know, it was kind of fun. Anna. So then I did that and Anna. I got tired and I just got my hammock stuff out and I decided not to. So I ended up just kicking back in the truck and because I was only going to get to sleep for a couple hours. Anna. And I ended up just sitting on the tailgate of the truck for an hour and a half. <clears throat> the only sound is that of, of the night in the National Forest. The river. Can't see any lights. Beautiful stars that had cleared. Great. Uh, it was a little chilly, but I had a jacket, you know, right there. It was... So I got to stargaze, and I got to see one of the most beautiful nights that I've seen in a long time. No sound. I'm just by myself. There's nobody remotely around me. Man, it was just wonderful. I got up in the morning, did some scout things, got to help cook some food. Not much. They did most, I mean... I like a sliver just not even enough to say I helped and uh, and then I drove home and I filmed a video and I was too tired and so I ended up stopping and uh, and resting for a while and called some friends you know to keep me alert Stopped at my favorite little gas station and got her chocolate milk. And went home and I've spent the rest of the day until 10 minutes ago or yeah, 15 minutes ago with my wife and my son. My son <laughs> ate some, some bad lunch meat or something and so he wasn't feeling well and so I, we took care of him and we, we gave him some medicine that we have out of our preps it's not everyday medicine so we got it out of our preparedness items and then I, I had left the house and I, I saw an accident and I thought I was going to get to help with first aid and I jump out and I, I'm prepared to do that fortunately no one was injured so that, that was not required and I would always rather someone not be hurt and that's a long seven minute stretch, almost eight minutes to tell you that even in running around, just getting out of the house, I'm, I'm going to get my son ice cream and I may have needed to save a life. My first aid skills, my, my knowledge and supplies. I have a first aid kit. This wreck could have been something. They might have needed they might have needed my tourniquet. They definitely might have needed my bandages. A uh, lot of potential. I'm not a half mile from my house. You got to be prepared. You got to be willing to help other people. Because you're going to need help one day and they're going to be driving by and they're going to choose not to stop. Or they're not going to have materials to stop, so they feel that they can't. Don't be that person. Get you an IFAC. Get you some kind of a first aid kit. Throw it in your vehicle. Learn what everything is. You know, practice with it. Go to a class. Um, basic first aid class. American Heart has an okay one. Red Cross has a better one. I mean, that's, I could, I could have, I could have saved a life. You can save a life. First aid kits are cheap. I mean, you can get crazy with them. You don't need a $500 first aid kit. You're not a surgeon. Well, you may be a surgeon. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but you need a, a decent first aid kit. So please, enjoy your weekend practice things when you can practice them build a fire go hiking all of those events could have required a first aid kit I had one with me don't be someone that doesn't even if you start with just a box of, of dollar band-aids 
builds you a first aid kit so you can help people. You guys are the greatest. I'm really encouraged. God is using you to bless me every day. You've lifted me up to do a men's Bible study or a men's group on Monday night with Bear Independent on from his Patreon. You have lifted me up. We're on Thursdays. There's a men's group that comes and we get together in the morning. This channel is blessing me and I hope it's blessing you. Get a first aid kit. Keep it around. You never know. I, I don't want to turn the camera because I don't know all these people. But you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, Skinny Medic on YouTube says you never know when you'll be the first responder. He is spot on. Thanks for watching. Let's get ready.